Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Ah, I was right. But yeah, it seems to be like a museum kind of style thing. So let's just go through it, I guess. Nature paintings. This probably be its own little episode, you see. Stanley's computer. That's cool. Office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doorways was the first part of the game and was built sections have been added and altered throughout development throughout though the core layout remains almost identical to the first alliteration. Okay, so this is where you'd start. Office up to the two doors. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in good time. Okay. What about this? The two doors. This set of two doors was very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. The exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Hmm, that's quite interesting. And this is just a desk. The office doors. Sound buttons. A selection of sounds used throughout the game where buttons are pressed. Each sound makes a different mix of keyboard stroke and synthesized tones. So it keeps changing. Ah, oh, that last one. What's over here? Filing cabinets. Okay. Um, office computers. Ooh. That chat. Oh, that one. Oh, this one. So there's many doors. Um, some credits. We'll come back to that. Office clock. Pretty cool. Pretty snazzy. Boss's office. Screens from development of the boss's office. Oh wow. So it started as that. Went to that and went to the middle one. It's pretty cool. What's over here? Employees Lounge. Underground, an early version of the underground portrait portion of the game. It was pretty much the well, not exactly the same. Now the escape ain't so obvious. But yeah, what's this? They're throwing a surprise party for him for all his buttons. Um. Does that sound plausible to you? Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from the early takes and were not used in the final game. Um. Where were all of his co workers? Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound plausible to you? So this room is quite creepy, if I'm honest. <laughs> Sounds it's like ghosts. Um, what's next? Let's have a look up here. So this is quite a nice little area. It's like whole museum of the whole development of the game. That's that's new. I've never seen that in a game before. Freedom ending. This is the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. <laughs> Doesn't look that free, seeing there's a massive wall there, but okay. Countdown desk, one of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Um. Why oh, didn't I get to press it? I wanted to press it. Okay. Freedom ending, this is freedom ending as it exists in beta. Okay, that looks quite nice. Monitor room, elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up and or down with three them above and count down below. We banned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down and placed the endings together instead. Okay. That seems quite important over there. Let's not go over there yet. Let's keep exploring. What's this? 
Game design mock up. This level that William, the level designer, sent Davy the right as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout of this mock up is still in game. Oh, yeah. It's quite nice. No wonder we got the job. Um. To my office. Let's have a look. Sandler's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. My birthday's in February. That's cool. Um, so. What really changed? Um, more filing cabinets, bendier, uh, longer de desk. Um, and then he just added some extra stuff on top and removed the computer and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And what's this? From Dink Duck subject gay. Are you gay? Are you a rock? <laughs> ah, subject regarding your game. If the artwork didn't, I, I really appreciate Proof of Stanley Power Game as a work of art and standalone title. I appreciate the credit given to art, which is why I'm eager to see art. Didn't let me read it. Anyway, these are narrated emails. After the second trailer, we sent out and asked people to email narrator for questions. While we intentionally planned to use these in the future promotion material, and I found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. How do you stay in shape? <laughs> The office, okay. The lounge, an early version of the lounge. So, yeah, this is a lot. The apartment timer. In previous versions, the choice lead into the apartment ending. A timer would give you 50 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Okay. Cargo lift. Cargo lift is intended to the office choice. Or staying on or jumping off to different path however the Saturday version so that we wanted to the option for the player to fall into their death oh um okay the cargo lift the second version is functionally the same as the first final game but we wanted to look more like a place where cargo actually stored okay that makes sense um, let's go in here first. Option one. What's this? Doorway to maintenance in the lounge. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, option two. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Yeah. Meeting room. Um. Vent. Oh wow. I didn't know the vent. Spoilers, maybe. Um. Zending levels. These levels are originally part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever and narrator would describe the colour of the lever they have pulled. Okay. Zending. The screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending. It's eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. don't know what that part is, but... Zending model. Zending went through many alterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending. And we thought that it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it. Again, shortly after launch. What's over here? This is the way out again. Um, this game is now paused. Begin again. Blah. Escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, when, which frustrated for everyone. Okay. I'm um, just being here. There's so many. Rooms, there's so much. What's this? We ran out, we ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of Narif informing viewers that he is preparing for a new season of Stanley Parable. That's, that's weird. Is there any sound? Hello? Um, I'm just gonna leave that, that's kinda scary. Let's go out here, I believe. Exit, so I know where the exit is. Um, 
been here. Is there anything else I haven't seen? It's pretty cool. War zone. Oh whoa, that looks cool. In the event was on an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become central and would wage war against an area. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was too far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our intention. Okay. But it looks quite awesome. Nice bike there. Could have possibly rode it round, you know. So, where else is there to go? Is the credits before we head off? Thank you guys for making such an awesome game. So, where's the ending? That's not the ending. Um, exit. There's the exit. Let's go through here. I think that's everything because we weren't in a loop. So. <laughs>